My favorite sport's the NFL. That's the sport I like the most. I, I think we, we probably all root for the same team, you know? I, uh, that's, that's right. Uh, I will say this. I, uh, I love the Packers. I have one tattoo. It is of the Green Bay Packers. Uh, I, I love it. Now, recently, they got rid of a player, my favorite player on the team, whose name, no joke, was Ha Ha Clinton Dix. Okay? That was this dude's actual name. You keep that guy for comedic value alone. That name is just funny. That would... You'd be in a bad game, that would cheer you up. You know, you'd be losing, they'd be like, Ha Ha Clinton Dix! You'd be like, it's still funny. It's okay. It's just a game. Life's not like that. I actually didn't want the Packers to draft Ha Ha. I actually had my heart set on the wide receiver out of Oregon. LOL Reagan Balls. That kid. <laughs> With the right system. He gets the right coaches. I wish I didn't like the NFL. I really do. They are an abysmal organization. They're assholes, okay? They raise money for charity, but they keep all of it. They won't let, they won't let black players express freedom of speech. Right? Ex-players are killing themselves so their brains can be studied. It's dark stuff. Yet every Sunday I'm there like, I am ready for some bubba! I'm in. <laughs> the only thing that could ever get, get me to stop watching the NFL is potentially the advertising, the marketing. It's too much. It never ends. It's crazy. Like, it never ends, right? You watch a game, everything's sponsored. It's the AT&T pregame show. Let's stick around for the Toyota halftime report. Coming up, we got the Pizza Hut post-game wrap-up. You're like, Jesus, we get it, dude. You, got, you like money. <laughs> the worst, though, is the commentators in the game because they not only make the commentators in the game tell you what's happening in the actual game, their jobs, they also have to promote all this stuff for the network. It's very distracting, right? You just be watching the game, they're like, second out at six for the Green Bay Packers. Packers offense has looked pretty sharp so far today, but this drive that was once marching down the field is suddenly stalling. It's decision time for Coach Matt LaFleur and his staff. And also for David, who has one rose, two women to choose from, and he's fallen for them both. <laughs> On tonight's Bachelor finale, find out who gets that last rose. Will it be Charlotte, whose daughter comes first, or Miranda, who has her doubts about his motives? Find out the Bachelor finale right after the game. Incomplete pass across the middle to Geronimo Allison. <laughs> Allison, known for his explosiveness, Coach LaFleur opted to play the field position game here a little bit. But I'll tell you, someone who does not play games, why, that's Jack Jammer. Well, that's because he's the world's number one underwater psychic, and he's cleaning up the mean streets of Miami one bad guy at a time. From the creator of Risley and Iceless, tune into an all-new Scuba ESP, Thursday night, 8 Central. Play clock winding down, Rogers hurries his off to the line. Rogers hurries his offense up to the line of scrimmage, gets the ball off just in time. Rifles one across the middle to Jimmy Graham, who somehow comes up with that. Wow, what a catch! <laughs> is what you'll be saying this fall when you walk into TGI Fridays. <laughs> and the answer why it's the garlic crusted Alaskan salmon available on the two for 20 menu for a limited time. Hey, it doesn't matter what day of the week it is out there, in here, it's Friday. And with that time out, we'll be right back after these commercials. You're like, commercials? What more do you have to fucking tell? What? <laughs> And it keeps getting worse, right? I let the NFL, now I hit them up on Twitter every weekend. I'm like, you guys have way too many sponsors. They're like, well, but you suck our dick and keep watching. It's like, okay, yeah, if you wanna, however you guys wanna handle it. But yeah, that works, that, that totally works over here. It is getting worse. In other sports, they're already starting to add logos and stuff to other players' jerseys and shit. Don't even get me started on NASCAR, honestly. Making a grown ass man dress up like a bag of peanut M&Ms, that's just fucking rude. <laughs> How do you take that guy seriously? He's like, there's a hard fought battle out there today. You're like, oh, the bag of peanut M&M's one. That's cool. <laughs> He's chocolate, yeah. I feel like in 10 years, players aren't even gonna have names in the NFL, right? Back of those jerseys, prime ad space right there. I feel like in 10 years, you'll be watching the game, they'll be like, quarterback nacho cheese Dorito, who's got a bold new flavor this season. <laughs> He's under center diet cherry Coca-Cola, who's got just one calorie inside of him. <laughs> Nacho Cheese doesn't like to play C's at the line of scrimmage, which is the shotgun formation. Gets the snap, fakes the handoff to Honda CRV because he's got low APR financing. <laughs> he's looking down the field for his Pro Bowl receiver, Campbell's Pick a Chucky Soup because he's mm-mm good. 
But he's blanketed by rookie safety Geico. Geico, 15 minutes can save you 50% or more on your car insurance. Nacho Cheese, look at look at it. Bud Light breaks the line of scrimmage, takes Nacho Cheese down for a sack. That's Bud Light's second sack of the day, making a Bud Light indeed. He's having a hell of a year. But that one's on Nacho Cheese. He held onto that ball too long. I'll be at home like, get Nacho Cheese out of the goddamn game. Put it cool, Ranch. Let's see what the kid can do. I still watch.